So, yeah, I always feel bad when someone says, what's the price? And you say, oh, it's from. And they're like, oh, crikey, yeah, here we go. Going to get there and they're going to tell us all why, you know, lure me in with a low price and then, you know, hike it up when I get in there. Um, it, you know, honestly, it's not not it's not like that. Um, the problem with implants and, and, you know, implant surgery, it's not like a replacement of implants. It's got to be a from price because, number one, there's different types of implants. Broadly speaking, there's, you know, pretty much two types, really, I, I guess, silicone and polyurethane. And polyurethane are more expensive than silicone. So that's one reason why there's two prices. Um, but the other reason, if you're having change of implants, if someone says, oh, I don't want a change of implants, is capsulectomy. Capsulectomy. So scar tissue around the implant is a capsule. Everybody's got a capsule. Everybody with implants in has got a capsule. And when you change implants, you might have to do something to that capsule. And probably the you know the biggest thing is a total capsulectomy, remove all of the capsule, and that's quite a big op. It's not quite you know you're not just taking the implants, putting a new one in, which obviously is not a massive op. You usually need to do something to the capsule, sort of to adjust the capsule to accommodate the new implant. If you're downsizing the implant, you might want to close the, the pocket down a bit because you don't want the implant falling into the armpit, falling laterally. Uh, you want to keep it sort of medially, keep it where the cleavage is. And if you're upsizing implants, you might want to score the capsule to let it sort of expand and accommodate the new implant. So they, you might have to do something to the capsule, um, but uh, you might have to do a total capsulectomy. Now, the only reason to do a total capsulectomy, so there's other things I've talked about are, if, you, if you're interested, you're interested in the words? Am I getting technical? Oh, what the heck? Should I? Anyway, um, if you're interested, then total capsulectomy is removing all of the capsule capsulotomy is scoring the capsule otomy means making a hole in uh like laparotomy oh, that's not helpful to you is it is there an otomy word in normal no there's not a normal tracheo tracheostomy that's ostomy tracheostomy hole in a trachea uh, anyway it is okay just is otomy is a hole so it's uh just scoring the capsule is, is capsulotomy and if you're downsizing your implant and you have to close the capsule down that's capsulography <laughs> you don't need to know this do you capsulography is sort of um closing down the pocket and stitching the capsule to the capsule that's a capsulography you might also do it if the inframammary fold is descended if you've got like bottoming out and the implant's gone too low you might do a capsulography to repair the capsule and stitch capsule to capsule again you need to often freshen it up and stuff before you stitch it together but yeah um so you often need to do something to the capsule if you have got a capsular contracture so if your implants are hard that's the question i'd ask if you're having a change of implants and your implants are hard you got a hard capsule there you're probably not going to want to leave that capsule behind when you change the implants because it'll still feel hard when you have a capsular contracture we say your implants go hard after five or ten years it's not strictly true it's not your implants that are going hard it's the capsule that's going hard it's the scar tissue forming around your implants when you go in there and you take the implants out the implants are fine the implants haven't gone hard it's the capsule it's the scar tissue around the implant that's gone hard not the implant itself so if you just put another implant in the same hard capsule it'll still feel hard so that would be a bad thing to do so if your implant feels hard then you need a capsulectomy and a capsulectomy is um, removing all of that scar tissue and that increases the operation quite a lot if you're just straightforward putting implants in or exchanging your implants and not doing much to the capsule you're looking at about an hour operating time give or take if you are doing a capsulectomy you're looking at about three hours to two to, to, to two and a half three hours so it's quite a bit more it's quite traumatic because you're cutting all that capsule out it becomes a much bigger operation if you are doing a capsulectomy so as i say you would only really need to do that if you were uh, uh had a hard implant but it um, makes the operation bigger makes the risks bigger in terms of bleeding and hematoma and things like that and it makes the price bigger so that's why we say from because uh, if you're having a capsulectomy is a lot more expensive um so answer to your question if you're having change of implants does that mean i need a capsulectomy not necessarily is the answer depends if your implants are hard hello seven o'clock